Hello! What's up guys? Welcome back to this episode of Boost Brothers Garage. This week we are moving the Cayman engine from my garage to the shop and we're gonna start tearing it down. Trying to give you guys at least a little bit of Cayman. You asked for Cayman, here comes Cayman. Stay tuned. All right guys, we made it to the shop. We're getting ready to unload this engine. We got a few projects we're gonna be working on today, but we're gonna start with tearing this thing down as much as we can without the engine stand and without spreading stuff all over the place before we have the second half of the shop. Yeah, specifically the engine room. You ordered the cradle? Yep. Yeah, the, uh, the adapter for the Porsche flat six engine to go to the engine stand. We need one of those before we can put it on the stand. So we're waiting for that to come in, but we're gonna go ahead and tear down the whole top end and see how far we can make it let's go We're finally ready uh, to start disassembly here. And the number one rule of disassembling a motor or a car is organization. And that's why we have our limited edition Christmas series Ziploc bags. Those are important. Very important. They don't have to be Christmas edition, but you know, it keeps it festive though, so. It does, we like it. So we don't know what we're doing. Nope, but that's usually the case. Yeah, that's par for the course. I've torn down a few engines. I've never torn down a flat six, a, a flat anything. We know how to get this out. Yeah, we know we, how, yeah. we put that in. Yeah, we can take the plumb off. Uh, we can also take that clutch and flywheel off because we put that on. We're gonna focus today on getting the intake and the upper half of the motor taken off. If we have time, we'll start to dig into the heads, uh, but likely, this is going to be relatively time consuming. We'll grab the camera and show you any pertinent things. We're going to dig in. Make sure you stay organized. Ready, set, let's go. go. You see how much oil is in that plenum? Apparently our air oil separator wasn't doing a very good job. All right guys, first big piece of the puzzle coming off, intake. Just kidding. It's about to though. It's off. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we got the plenum off. We got the intake off. Fuel rails. Fuel rails, injectors, wiring harness. And the entire wiring harness. We got a good start on it for sure. Yeah, let me show you what it's looking like right now. So we got pretty much the whole top of the motor taken apart. There's a lot of oil in the intake. I don't know if the air oil separator was bad or what was going on. Looking down into the head, you don't see much. It actually looks relatively clean in there. We have no idea what this contraption here is or what it does but we still have to take it off air oil separator still has to come off alternator alternator clutch and flywheel pretty much all of the front accessories still need to come off but we got got a good jump on it yeah for basically having no clue what we're doing it went pretty smooth there were no real major hiccups right porsche harnesses they use different clips on like every harness and most of them are like underneath to where you can't see it 
So it's a little sketchy trying to pry some of that stuff, but ultimately we got everything off without breaking it. It's really just kind of a pain to be honest, the, the harnesses, the, the clips, but it is what it is. Uh, he's gonna be out of town for a little while. So we've got a couple other project videos that we're working on. We'll probably jump back into this one um, around the middle of the month. Finish the teardown on the build. I think we're gonna do an Instagram live video when we're actually finishing. YouTube or, live. Or YouTube live, sorry. Yeah. When we're actually getting in to find out what the root of the, the problem was. So yeah. look forward to that. So we appreciate you watching guys. Hopefully this quenched the thirst for some Cayman videos. Uh, it's, it's still here. We're still working on it. Yeah, and when we find some free time or I find some free time, I'm gonna come over and continue gutting the interior. I'm gonna change the wheels and tires on there before too long, so um, we'll have some stuff sprinkled in there in the meantime. Cool, thanks guys. All right.